Hi guys! It is Monday right now. I'm just going to do the textile lookbook for textile technology. And yes, I'm going to do that the whole day because I need 30 different fabrics for that. And for each fabric, I need like the fiber, the construction, the surface, the drape, the finishing, the care instruction, and uses as well as the swatch itself. So I just want to finish that today. This is so far what it looks like. I've only done one so far and I'm starting this one. The best case scenario, I do everything. I do the 30 swatches, but I'm just really hoping to finish the most I can do today. This week we are back to having classes. I have a class at 12 noon and again at 3. Right now I'm just continuing the um, textile lookbook that I started yesterday. Yesterday I finished 14. I know not a lot but also you know it's pretty good I guess. Um, it's not like the best case scenario I was hoping for. So I'm gonna be doing that until um, until 12, until my class. Then after that, I'm going to do another Patso project because this is for the finals. We have to make a well pocket and buttons, I think. I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing. Class just finished. It was just a short lecture. Yeah, now I am going to focus on the finals for what do you call this? Uh, pattern making and sewing. Actually, I'm not sure if the finals is now because we did move for two weeks, so we still have actually three weeks of classes left. We are going to have classes until February 12. Today is actually the first day of my menstrual period. Yay. It doesn't really hurt as much right now for me personally. My personal experience. The first day actually really hurts. It's either I need to sleep it off and when I wake up it won't hurt as much or I need to vomit and then sleep. And when I wake up it won't hurt as much. Either way it sucks. But yeah, we gotta push through because we have things to do. Wish me fucking luck. Okay, my second class just finished. My professor informed us that we don't have to do the finals anymore, which is the weld pocket that I started doing. So I guess I didn't really need to do that. It's better, I guess. Um, right now, I'm actually just going to lie on my stomach and hopefully I can come back later to either continue the, the book or start drafting this leaves part because I still do need to finish the jacket. Okay, so just an update. I woke up around 5. 520 something. I just continued the um, textile lookbook. Yeah, after I woke up, I finished reading this. Um, if you have time, you can definitely read this in one sitting. But since I really couldn't do that, I read it sporadically because I have lots of things to do. But I finally finished it. It's actually a really good read. I have, I got a lot of life lessons or like codes that I can go back to. It's really helpful for those who kind of feel lost in a way. You feel like you're not 
really moving forward or you feel like everything's moving so slow in your life, I think this is a good read. I don't particularly like the religious aspect of it, but overall it's a good read and I still enjoyed it. The next one that I'm actually going to read at irregular times is Pride and Prejudice. This is actually what I asked as a gift for Christmas. This and four other classics. I'm going to read this first because I've already watched the film and so I think I can kind of understand. It's kind of, uh, for me this is like a introduction because um, classic books are written differently. Since I watched the movie, I thought that it would be helpful for me to understand what is happening <laughs> and help me understand like the words that they use. I'm actually kind of excited. Bye. for design studio at 8 to 11 which we started at 9 but anyways we don't have that today because our professor said we should focus on our finals we won't be presenting them synchronously we just have to take a video of us explaining our final project which if you haven't seen that yet you can watch my two other vlogs so you can see also how I made it. Right now, I'm just continuing the textile lookbook, but I do have a creative, uh, creative chat scheduled at 12.40 if I'm not mistaken. So the creative chat is basically uh, speaking to the fashion head and we're going to be talking about our subjects for the next semester and if we have any suggestions that would make our experience as well as the classes in remote setting better. But right now, I think I'm gonna focus on this because I only have seven left to do. So I think I can finish this now. I think the base so now I only need to add like the finishing touches. I finally finished the textbook, uh, the textile lookbook and I submitted that. Creative chat, I will finish the creative chat as well. It was actually a really good chat so next semester I also have four subjects plus an internship. It is my last semester and I'm really excited. <laughs> and kind of nervous because we do have the grad show i just like hope that everything will run smoothly and i can have the time to finish everything i am going to as you can see i'm going to exercise because i haven't exercised for the past two days see you Friday. Okay, so yeah, 
yesterday I didn't really shoot anything I didn't even update y'all but that's because um, I was just doing the paper I was trying to write the final paper because I do have to finish it but I'm gonna be honest I didn't really progress as much as I wanted to I wasn't really focused and it was kind of like an off day plus writing isn't really my favorite I don't like writing studies thesis I don't like doing that so it was very hard for me to actually progress but today I have classes at 1.30 and that's the subject that I'm writing this paper for so I do have the progress so this morning the morning part of the day I'm just going to try and write and like do the slides for the update of where my paper is going I just like really need strength to write this whenever I have to write a paper or something it's always the part where I procrastinate the most. I'm just gonna look at it and like attack it and like attack it in another in another perspective and just be like oh my gosh I love writing papers so let's do this. I'm actually going to update you maybe after class. See you later. Hi guys so class is just finished and I was able to write like four page three four three to four pages of the final paper I'm still trying to consolidate everything make sure it's as short as I can make it now I'm actually going to rest for a minute um, regarding the rating of the paper we do have to pass this on February 7 but right now I'm gonna focus on pattern making and sewing because it is like is it the last yeah it is the last technical subject that I do have to finish. So now I'm just going to do the sleeves and the buttons of the jacket and hopefully I can finish that today. After I finish the pattern making and sewing, I have to finish like re-editing the mock-ups as well as the paper, making sure like the price, the architecture, the costing, the everything is in place because we are going to defend this. Um, so yeah. That's just what I'm gonna do. Pattern making and sewing. Hopefully, I finish it. Let's go. <laughs> not really what I had hoped for but you know I still did pretty good I did the pattern I cut the fabric and transferred all the necessary markings I was able to do this one sleeve as you can see our professor did say that we can just do like one sleeve as well as one lock pocket but I just I can't I mean I I I'm gonna try and finish it tomorrow still because I did set out to do like the whole sleeve so I want to finish the whole sleeve if that makes sense. Um, let's see what time I wake up. I will see you later. Bye! on what happened. I woke up at around 7.30. 
um, fed chai and had a nap. I woke up ar around 9.30 and started doing the sleeves part of the jacket and finally finished it. It's a whole jacket now. now. All I have left to do is add the buttons and the buttonhole and do a whip stitch of the hem as well as iron it out so that I can finally take a picture and pass it for my finals in pattern making and sewing. Family had lunch together because my sister treated us with some food. I was also able to edit the week 2 video week 2 vlog video. I finished doing that. I uploaded it on YouTube. Haven't published it yet but it's already uploaded. I also did the thumbnail for that. See you later. submit the photo. I'm not really the best at ironing so it's kind of irritating that I'm looking at it right now. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. It is Sunday right now. I woke up at around 9. I know I woke up kind of late. It's kind of irritating me but anyway. I woke up at around 9 and I rested for a bit because I was so tired. I have no idea why. And now I'm actually just going to continue writing for the marketing project. I really need to get on that. We need to pass the paper by February 7. I'm just actually going to take a photo of the end result of the jacket as well because I do need to pass that for pattern making and sewing. See you later. That is it for this week's video. Um, I actually just woke up from a second nap um, this day. I've been really tired. I think I'm gonna try and continue this. I really just tried continuing my paper. I was really tired so I needed to rest. That's it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share if you feel like doing that. And also if you haven't watched the other vlogs, watch that once as well. So there's continuation of the things that I'm doing. But yeah, that's it. I will see you next week. Bye!